What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Kith New Balance 2002R in this pistachio colorway. Today's video was sponsored by Hefalux. Hefalux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which really is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for anyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I find them to be extremely comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is a Kith New Balance 2002R, which released alongside a 993, both pairs being nicknamed as the Pistachio Colorway. So I got these through early access on the Kith app for a price of 150 US dollars or 210 Canadian dollars. The style code for this shoe is M2002RK1 and the colorway for this shoe is slate gray and chinois green. So unlike the 993 which I reviewed on my channel not too long ago, this pair isn't made in USA, instead it's made in Vietnam. But it adopts a very similar color scheme with this upper that's done in a combination of blue, green, and gray, along with these cream and vintage looking hits underneath. So diving straight into the details, the upper of the shoe is predominantly constructed out of a very soft nubuck. So you can see the toolbox is covered in nubuck unlike the traditional mesh, and we have this reflective silver 3M panel right above this with the New Balance N logo embroidered in the center. Overlaid on either side we have more of that very soft nubuck and it covers the front toe cap as well. Moving next to this, you'll see we have these different panels overlaid on top of each other. And although the colors are the same, this middle panel here is actually more of a synthetic nubuck, but it's covered once again in more of that genuine nubuck on top. Stitched on top of the mid panel, we have the New Balance N logo, and then the top two eyelets at the very top are done in this tonal TPU finish. Moving downwards, you can see we have more nubuck, and we have 2002R branding stamped on the lateral side. And then beneath this, on the bottom of the heel, this panel here is perforated, and we have this cutout exposing this TPU New Balance branding, which is done in this shiny finish. And then the top of the heel is covered in another panel of synthetic nubuck. For the laces, so these only come with two different lace options. So the standard default lace is more of a cream or off-white colored lace, but they also give you a pure white lace as well. Underneath this, the tongue is also constructed out of nubuck. And in the middle, we have this synthetic nubuck panel. And then the top is once again covered in genuine nubuck and we have this oval shaped cutout revealing this New Balance running branding in the middle. So the back of the tongue and the inner liner of this shoe, this is lined in this textile which is done in this tonal finish and has a very soft feel to it to the touch. As for the insole, so these come with your normal foam lined insole. It's done in that same grayish blue green color and we have New Balance running branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of the New Balance 2002R sits atop this absorbed foam midsole which is painted in this light beige sort of tone. In addition to Absorb, they also incorporate Absorb SBS technology as well. And in addition, on the lateral side of the heel, you can see they implement Energy technology, which are there for impact protection and shock absorption. And then on the bottom of the shoe, the outsole here is constructed out of a cream colored rubber. We have these grooves to give you added flexibility. And in the middle underneath this, we have this off-white colored TPU shank plate, which is what New Balance calls their stability web technology. And this is there for torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other 2002 R's, so I'd recommend sticking true to size. So my feet measures on a Brannock device as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I get the 2002 R usually in a size 10 and they fit me great. To give you guys a point of comparison, I go a half size down in a lot of made in USA New Balance shoes, for example like the 992, 993, 990 V3, V4, V5, and V6, and a lot of my 550s too. And in comparison, I stick true to size with the size 10 in the 2002 R, the 997, and the 990 V2 because I find that those two models have a bit more of a narrow toe box, along with a lot of made in UK models like the 991, 1500, and the 1530. Next up, in terms of comfort, so this shoe feels just as great as any other 2002R. Even though they implemented a new buck upper instead of the traditional mesh, it's honestly not that noticeable on foot. The underfoot feeling still feels very comfortable, has a good balance of softness and squishiness while still giving you stability and a bit of that firmness that you need too. So this is definitely one of those models that I can wear for long, long hours in a day and I don't feel pain or fatigue on the arches of my feet. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship, so first off, material quality I thought it was solid. 
I know this upper is mixed in the combination of genuine nubuck and synthetic nubuck, but the panels that use genuine nubuck, it felt very nice to the touch. You run your fingers across it, you can see a little bit of that color change, and the overall construction of the shoe was very good too. I really had no complaints, the stitch job was good, no glue stains, the panel shapes were consistently cut, so this was a pretty solid job from New Balance's Vietnam factory. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. All in all, this is a very solid colorway. It's muted, but not in a boring way. It still gives you a little bit of pop and color. The only issue for me is I copped both this one and the 993. And I think it's kind of redundant to own both pairs. And in my opinion, if I had to choose one, I would go with the 993 just because there's more textual variety and there's a bit more visual interest in that silhouette compared to these ones. But if I took an L on those 993s, then I would probably be holding onto these in my collection. It's just that, as I said, there's really no point for me to keep both. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Kith New Balance 2002R in this pistachio colorway. For anyone watching, did you also copy these as well? And what are your thoughts now that you have them in hand? So be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on my Instagram account at esco8. Check out my Twitter as well at sean.go and visit my website at seangoca so until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.